Welcome to this tutorial video. This video is another one within the matrix series and today we'll be looking at element rules. Okay, elements are simply the individual numbers that fit within a matrix. So this represents matrix A, quite often it's a capital with an italics A and the element is the individual lowercase a, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, etc. Now this is simply a numbering system for row 1, column 1, row 2, column 1, row 3, column 1. Okay, so you can see it represents the row first and the column. Second column here is row 1, column 2, row 2, column 2, row 3, column 3, uh, row 3, column 2 rather. And finally we have row 1, column 3, row 2, column 3, and row 3, column 3. So these are called elements. So let's look at how we can use a set of element rules to fill in a matrix. So we have here from A1 all the way down, from A11 all the way down to element A33. We've got nine individual elements within matrix A. And again, we can use this IJ symbol, the or notation. The I represents the row number and the J represents the column number. So here A23 represents an I of 2 and a J of 3. So an example of this would be A13. First row, third column. Row 1 and column, not J, rather column 3. Okay, let's look at some possible rules. So the first example we have here is the rule, example number 1, where the AIJ, the element, can be determined by adding the row number I and the column number J. Okay, so we can now work out every one of these element values following this set of rules. So first of all, the first element has got row 1, column 1. So following this rule, it's i, which is valued at 1, plus j, which is valued at 1. So 1 plus 1 for row 1, column 1 gives me 2. The second element, a 2, 1, second row, first column. We're using the value, row number of i is 2 plus column number J is 1. 2 plus 1 gives me a value for 3. So it is entered in. A31, following this rule, is a value of I of 3 and a value of J of 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. That fills in that element. We move on to the second column. Same rule again. We've got a row number of 1, a column number of 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Following the rule of each element is I plus J, the row number and the column number. That's row 2, column 2, gives me a sum of 4. Row 3, column 2, gives me a sum of 5. Moving on to our third and final column. Following this rule, we have row 1, column 3. 1 plus 3 gives me 4. Elements A, 2, 3 is row 2, column 3, so 2 plus 3. Following this rule gives me a 5. And finally, 3 plus 3 gives me a 6. So using this rule, we'll be able to fill in this matrix in terms of its numbers. Let's look at a second example. Here we've got the same thing, a 3x3 three three matrix A, individual elements A11 all the way to A33. In this case the rule says that the element in the symbol of I for row and J for column is equal to I take J. Let's see how this goes. When I is 1 and J is 1, that is row 1, column 1, 1 take 1. Following the rule of I take J, 1 take 1 gives me 0. Our second element, which is row 2, column 1, following the rule is the value of 2, take 1, gives me 1. Next one, A31, the element 31, has got the row of 3, take away the column number of 1, gives me 2. On to the second column. A12 is 1, take 2, minus 1. A22 is 2, take 2, following this rule where I is the row number and J is the column number, goes into 0. The value is of 3, 2 gives me an i of 3 minus a j of 2 and that returns a value of 1. The last column, element 1, 3, first row, third column is 1 take 3 is minus 2. Element 2, 3, second row, take 3 for the third column gives me a value of negative 1. And 3, 3 is 3 minus 3 gives me 0. So that's the rule, rather that's the completed matrix following the rule of each element a i j is equal to the i take away the j, the row take away the column number. Third and final example, if we're following the rule of 2i plus j. So the first element, first row, first column, 2 times 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 plus 1 gives me 3. 
second row, first column is a 2 times 2, the row number is 2, plus 1 for j, the column number gives me 5. 3, 1, so 2 times the number 3 gives me 6, plus the 1 for the row, the column number gives me 7. Into our second column has an element um, reference of an i of 1 and a j of 2. So 2 lots of the i is 2 lots of 1, plus the j is 2, so 2 ones are 2, plus 2 is 4. Continue on. The element a22, 2, 2, 2 lots of 2, plus 2 is 6. Element 3, 2, the third row, second column, 2 lots of 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And our final column, we're now on row 1, column 3. So 2 times the row number, as per our rule, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 gives us 5. Element a23, 2, 2 lots of the row number 2, gives me 4, plus the column number 3 gives me 7. And finally, the element a33, 2 times the row number, 2 times 3 is 6, plus j, the column number, 3 is 9. And that is how we complete that particular element. A bit of emphasis there with the old uh, sound. So I hope that makes sense. We are simply using our reference of our row and our column numbers to indeed work out the actual element value to fill in a matrix. I hope this helped people understand the element rules within a matrix. Thanks for watching.